We're looking at our new comfort dog, our community service dog. I know, I know. That's what everybody's at a time when police are under fire like never before, one Northwest Suburban Department has a new recruit that everyone loves. Chance is a 12-week-old golden retriever puppy who's being trained as the Elgin Police Department's first ever service dog. Dane Placco reports Chance won't be your ordinary canine cop. On his first day on the job, Chance the puppy seemed a little reluctant to leave his new home at the Elgin Police Department. That's our newest recruit. There he is. Commander Eric Echevarria brainstormed the idea of getting a police department comfort dog. What brings a smile to everybody's face? What lowers stress? Um, a dog. And so the comfort dog idea kind of came to. And while dogs have long been used by police to sniff for drugs, bombs, or control crowds, Chance's cop job will be different. Good boy. He'll live with community service officer Craig Arnold, but spend his days at the department where he'll go to schools when there are police issues, comfort crime victims, or be brought into confrontational situations when police are trying to defuse the tension. Most people always talk to a puppy or a pet a dog or want to play with the dog, but not everybody feels the same about a police officer. And judging by public reaction outside police headquarters, he's already a hit. I'm a flight attendant and we get comfort, comfort dogs in the airport, mm -hmm. especially when there's storms and long delays, and they are fabulous. Chance will begin comfort dog training in a few weeks. Until then, he's spending his days in the dispatch room with employees signing up to take him for a walk. As soon as I got here for roll call this morning at 6.30, he instantly put the smile on literally everybody's face. I mean, he was following everybody around. And as for the new recruit's name, that was picked by Elgin residents in a Facebook poll. You know, it gives people a chance in life, a chance to heal. In Elgin, Dane Placco, Fox 32 News.